I am down in Brighton with my brother. We often come down actually, just come down to have breakfast on the beach. But I'm also having a good old look around the North Lanes. Um, and I want to show you a shop that is a vintage, um, pre-loved shop that was never here when I lived here. And I love it. It's called Circles. This is it. And there's some real treasures to be had in here. This is it. So yes, this is Ganny here as well. You may all recognize the labels. Here we are, this is a fantastic Ganny. So we look at this, beautiful Ganny dress, 89 pounds. So you see, you're not gonna get this in London. Um, here's the lovely lady. Hello. What's your name again? Jules. Jules, that's right. This is Jules' shop. What road is this, Jules? I it's shouldn't Church know. Street. Church Street, thank you've you. You've got the dome at the end, then you've got uh, the NCV car park, and then you've got us, um, yeah, on the way to the station. So, very, very famous see, street. I should remember this. Yeah, you must get down here. But let me just show you. You know, I'm just pulling things out to give you an idea, basically. Um, I love that. I just love some of this. This, to me, is pure Bieber. <laughs> it's fantastic. Don't know what that label is, actually. Oh, it's Ganny again. Oh, it's Ganny. Yeah. See, it's the colours. I'm wearing a Ganny coat. We've Very got old. Ganny. And other stories. Oh, and other stories. We've got a lovely a line. Of oh my gosh! So everyone, you know, I've been going on about my a line, a linear dungarees and jeans that's their dress so it's very like lf markey it's the cotton it's that fantastic cotton wonderful my bits. Um, uh, oh i say what is that's, that that's just a weekday piece but i love, love a color. knitted and i love a knitted dress yeah they are so useful with boots or pumps and then one of my favorites is LF Markey. LF Markey. So this is the more expensive version of Alinier and both of them are South London, not South London, East London, sorry, East London designers. Yeah. We've got a lovely Victoria Beckham. Oh my gosh. Wow, love. guys. That's the most beautiful crepe. Yeah, it's got a real weight to it. Hasn't it? It's I love those sleeves. And those box. sleeves are so flattering. And then my those God. toast lovers. You've got uh, toast. New tags. Now, I live above Toast, and I've not seen this. This is a beautiful olive. If you buy Toast, everybody, you'll wear it for years. Price per wear, as I say, is beautiful. Beautiful Toast. Quite my Tintin Parker. Nice. See these wraparounds, all based on the Diane von Furstenberg, which is... I'm also looking at this. Is this LF Markey? This yes, so keep so, oh, there's another one. Look at that LF Markey, that Anna Webb. How much Anna Webb would you love that? That's like a mini skirt with braces, so it's like a little pinafore. So you've got a lovely Sandro bit. Sandro. In silk. Oh my goodness. Now, everybody who watches Anna Webb, you know she loves LF Markey dungarees. Well, those are the best I've seen, actually. They are fat. What size are they, Jules? Uh, well, like a six, eight. And how much are they, the LF Markey? Because, you know, everyone, these are like 250 quid. 75. Well, they are. 75 and they're new. They look like they're new. Gosh, they're fantastic. Good, aren't they? Oh, my gosh, they're fantastic. And the Kit Tree and the Ulla Johnsons. I've got some lovely pieces. Oh, my God. And that one you just held up? Yes. Yeah. What's oh, that? That's Ula Johnson. Johnson. I wonder who's donating these down here. Not donating. Selling them. You buy, don't you? You you seek them out. Yeah, so yeah, we have consignment. About oh my god, look! Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh, everybody, right, I'm turning this off because we could go on and on. Right, this we're getting these for Anna, everybody. So I've come all the way to Brighton and Anna. We've just FaceTimed her, haven't we, Jules? We and um, oh, could I look She's worse? She's a big LF Markey She's fan. a big LF Markey fan. I look like an old maggot. Sorry, God. This is how I spend my weekends looking like this. Um, but yes, yeah, so she's got those. But there is another LF Markey. If you come down here, there's a little LF Markey mini skirt, which Anna and I are far too old for. Um, 
but none of it looks worn. It's amazing. And also, everybody, I just want to show you this Marnie. This is a Marnie silk dress. I mean, really stunning. But I'm too small for that. It's a, it should be a mini dress on someone of average height, but it's gorgeous. I'm going to take you to a shop that actually was one of the reasons I first moved to Brighton because it sold spinach scones. I kid you not. This is the shop. It's called Infinity Foods. one of the first cooperative shops and yes I love it it's always been here since I've known Brighton Oh, the table, it's the best I could do. Hello, that was, that clip in Brighton was last Sunday and I have not, and today is Thursday and I have not picked up my camera. I haven't done anything. I have stayed in bed for four days. I kid you not, this is so not like me. Even when I have a cold or anything like that, I just think, Come on, you know, once you're out there, you'll feel better. Well, I tried. I did try. I tried to take Myrtle out, and I just couldn't. I had to keep coming back, and my friend Susie, who um, has Flora, Myrtle's cousin, she would come and collect Myrtle and take her out for me. She would do my shopping, but the thing is, I just haven't wanted to eat. It's so odd. It's not COVID. I took a COVID test. It's not COVID. It's, it's proper flu, I think. It felt like all my bones were aching and um, my throat was sore, it's still sore and been sniffling, but it's just this lack of energy. Um, that's what really did it. So, this is gonna be a very boring vlog. That bit in Brighton is probably gonna be the most exciting bit of the vlog. The reason I'm done up like this, with a red lip and all my hair tied back is poor uh, Nigel, oh my gosh. So uh, Nigel, this is what I wanted to talk to you about. When you're freelance, okay, everybody gets ill, but when you're freelance, you're not paid. If you're ill, if you don't turn up and do the job, can I do this? I think I might be able to do this better. When you're freelance, when you don't work, if you're ill, you don't get paid. There is no sick, sick pay. So um, you just keep working if you can. And to be quite honest, I just didn't have the energy to do anything this week. And there was a lot of work um, that I needed to, to do because um, when Mutti died, we'd canceled a lot of work and I needed to sort of finish it and do it starting now. And I just didn't have the energy. And you know me, this is so not like me. Um, the reason I'm done up like this is I'm about to do a Zoom meeting for a brand, a fashion brand, um, because I'm working with them. I'm so excited. I've never worked with them before. A brand I wear a lot of. I wonder if you can guess. Um, but look, you know, even on Zoom, I look awful. And I just, I just have to say to them, I'm sorry, my hair is greasy. My makeup is just sitting on my face. It's not doing anything. And this is the best I can do. So yeah, I've got, look, this is the setup. Everything is ready. I'm trying to throw light on my face for this Zoom meeting. Um, but it's, it's very interesting when you're ill, isn't it? Because you just, you, I start, you know, I, I was thinking, people said to me after Mutti died, they said, 
if you don't slow down, you'll get ill. Well, I couldn't slow down. There was a lot I had to deal with. Um, anyone who's de dealing with the death of a parent, I don't mean just emotionally, I just mean there's a lot to deal with. And there's also my work. And so I was ploughing on, and I think I was doing very well until literally Brighton, you can hear it on that clip, I was beginning to lose my voice and then by the time we got back from Brighton I could hardly move, I was absolutely exhausted but, and I don't want sympathy for this part of me just thinks don't do a vlog, Joe. in fact I said to Philippe Philippe, I haven't filmed anything this week because usually by today I would have sent him all the clips that he will have edited together for the vlog. And I said, I, I film nothing, Philippe, except a couple of clips when I was in Brighton. Um, and he went, why don't you just film yourself being ill? And I thought, well, that isn't really gripping stuff, is it? And so I was thinking, maybe I just won't. Maybe I'll just miss a, a week. But do you know why I won't? Because if you do that, the algorithm, or whatever it is, that determines if people are going to watch this vlog or not, if you miss a week, it takes you ages to get back up there. I mean, I need, I think it's, I need seven more subs, seven more people to subscribe, which costs you nothing, by the way, it's free to subscribe. I think if I get seven more, I will be at 60, what is it? How much is it, Philippe? You did tell me. Tell me what it is, Philippe. You said, I think you'll make it this week, Joe. Well, I haven't. And I only need seven more. And that was the other reason I thought, well, I've got, to, I've got to put something out. So forgive me, this is not my best vlog. This is going to be fairly dull. But it is worth talking about. More successful YouTubers can take a week off. It won't matter. But for someone like me who's pushing, 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 to get more subscribers, I just can't take a week off. Um, and then I had this whole, I had this whole thought about, should I just give it up? And this is not false. This is not, oh no, Joe, I want you to stay to, truly it's not. It's just, not just vlogging, everything. I thought, should I just stop? Just stop. You know, many of my friends of my age have retired and are with their grandkids and babysitting and, oh God, I can think of nothing worse, sorry. Don't unsubscribe because I said that. I just couldn't do that. But maybe I should just go and live somewhere less frantic than Marylebone. <coughs> but I don't like fields and silence, so that's, but I like heat and sun. But because of Brexit, we can't live abroad anymore. <coughs> this is awful. Don't turn off because I'm going to make an omelette in a minute to show you how I'm making it. That might be exciting. I have not eaten and that's the other thing. Because I've got no taste, I haven't eaten. And when I don't eat, I lose weight very, very quickly. So I'm going to make myself a cheese omelette in a new pan. A pan that I have longed for since all of you said about my non-stick pan, you went, Joe, that is dangerous what you're cooking with. All the Teflons come off and you're eating poison. So it made me get a new pan. I'll show you what it is. Anyway, I'll do this, do this Zoom and then I'll meet you in the kitchen. Please stick with me, it will get a bit more interesting. I'm somewhere you very seldom see me, which is in my kitchen. And um, the Zoom meeting went so well and it's great news for you and for me. So. The, um, the label I'm working with is Theory. And remember the, if you remember the suits I was wearing, um, the peony suit, the lavender suit, I wear a lot of Theory. It's classic, it's beautiful tailoring. And there is a Theory shop on the corner of Marylebone High Street, which you will often see me in. So guess what? Would you like to join me on the 17th of April Come into Marylebone, come into the theory shop. I am hosting an event, so I'm going to show you their spring fashion. 
it's limited numbers there's only 50 places um, and it's five pounds but the five pounds goes to smartware is it I think it's smartware it's the charity that gives clothes to people who need outfits to go for interviews and to go to work is a fantastic I think it's called smart works um, so yes the five pounds entry fee will go to that charity but you will get 20% off all theory fashion on that night just for that night you will also have drinks and canapes meet me meet possibly many of my Marylebone friends because I'm going to get them to come along but there are only 50 places so if you want to please click on the link below and that's on the 17th of April if you can get into Marylebone um, what fun what fun right do you know why I'm in a good mood look everybody the always man how much have I wanted one of these do you remember my old frying pan it had no Teflon left and all of you well most of you when I was cooking said Joe you're gonna poison yourself it's dangerous I think these people were watching my vlog because they sent me this this isn't a, a, a collaboration they sent me this always pan and I've always wanted one because you can do everything Listen, you can steam in it. Put that down. You can steam in it. I'm hoping, I am praying that it works on a conductor. Ah, oh, let me get some oil. I'm making an omelette. I may not be making an omelette if this doesn't work. Let me turn this on. Please work on here. So, I'm going to have a cheese omelette. Everybody, this is the first thing I will have eaten for 48 hours. Yes, it is working on there. I am so happy. So happy. Myrtid, say hello to everyone. I might bring Myrtle to the event, the theory event actually, because Marylebone High Street is a very dog friendly street. Myrtle, do you want to come? and meet everyone at the theory event on the 17th. Come here, Mert, I'll give you a treat. Come here, a treat. Everybody see how good and how well behaved you are. Sit. Gently. Good girl. Oh, charming. Right. Now then. Oh, I'm so pleased this is working. Now, omelette. My cleaner came actually, she couldn't clean in the bedroom because I was in there and I didn't want to give her my germs. So she came and cleaned this kitchen, otherwise I wouldn't be showing you it. And, um, and I obviously cleaned the bedroom that I've been lounging in myself. So these are organic eggs. I only ever Sorry, everybody. Right. Need to get that nice and hot. Yes, and it also comes with a spatula. And I've been following, you know Josie London, or Fashion Mumble, I think she's called, one of the Cotswolds set. She's always had an always pan, and it's because of her I wanted one. It's going to be hot enough. It says you need to get everything very, very hot. Let me test it. Oh, yes, I think that is hot enough. Are we ready? Oh, yes. Okay. So, let me just show you. Absolutely loving it. I'm loving this. I'm not going to poison myself with my omelette. Um, I'm using Waitrose Mature Cheddar. Good old amount. Now, what Josie does, I saw her do this, she 
then puts the cover on with her omelette. So I'm hoping that's the thing to do. What do you think, Mert? Want another treat, Mert, whilst we wait for the omelette? Sit. Good girl. I'm in such a good mood. I'm in such a good mood. I know I was a bit miserable at the beginning, but I'm now feeling better because I can actually make something. God, that is how... <coughs> Josie, if you're watching this, you are absolutely right. That's the best way of doing it. Oh, my gosh. I'm, this is life-changing to have something that doesn't stick. Look, everyone. I don't know how I'm going to show this to you. Look, this is how good it is at not sticking. Look, look, it's just moving as one. Oh, I love this. This is a game changer. Look at that. Art. This is art. Look. How perfect. Perfect golden cheese omelette. Put that on just so it can cook a bit more. I've prepared my green salad and tomatoes. What do you make of this? Life-changing, Mert. Mert will sit. Lovely. Are you happy with the new always pan? Are you happy with the new pan? Yes, we are. My omelette. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at that. I'm going to really enjoy this. Hi. Oh, how lovely. Hi. Bye, hon. That's Jalen, who's been on the show tonight. No, Dave's on another job. Um, oh my gosh, so I got through it, everybody. Uh, dear Jalen. Um, and what a night, gosh. I've hardly got any voice left. And I'll do it all again tomorrow. Um, and I just feel that this has been a really, really boring vlog and I am so sorry for that. But you have to admit this is the first time I've ever, I think it's the first time I've ever filmed myself ill and just look at the state of me. But the show was really good. Sometimes, you know, they call it Dr. Footlights. When you feel ill and then you, you do a show, you get in the studio, you open the mic and you just feel better. And then when it ends, you feel like, I'm going to sleep so well tonight. I know I will. Um, but I'm going to end the vlog here. Can I thank all of you who stuck with it to this end bit? Can I please ask you to subscribe? Dave would always say, stop begging, Joe. But um, please give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Even if it's, God, Joe, that has to be the most boring vlog you've ever done. Um, and can I please ask you to to come and see me in Marylebone on the 17th of April for the Theory Fashion Event. I will leave the link below. It's at six o'clock in the evening. So um, it's getting lighter now as well. So you'll be able to get home by eight o'clock um, and it'll be fabulous. You get to meet me and I think I'll take Myrtle. Anyway, who knows? That's it. Dave is picking me up tomorrow night, but that's too late for the vlog. So I'll see Dave, but you won't this week. Sorry about that. Take care. Bye.